Kilauea Volcano Update Kilauea puts on spectacular show with lava backflow after episode 6 eruption ends. Chatter on the live stream of the pending eruption at Kaluapele, Kilauea's summit caldera, quickly turned from speculation about when a new episode of eruptive activity would begin to what exactly was happening in the center of the lava lake. This U.S. Geological Survey video screenshot from 1.58 p.m. on Saturday, January 25, 2025, shows erupting lava massively backflowing during a backflow into the north vent in the southwest part of Halamaumau Crater inside Kilauea's caldera. The chatter continued into the morning of January 26 until the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory issued its daily eruption update just before 10 a.m., when all hell broke loose. More than 6.5 billion gallons of lava have filled Halamaumau Crater since the ongoing summit eruption began on December 23, 2024. The lava has covered more than 680 acres and is more than 72 feet thick. Lava flows from Episode 6, the final eruptive event of the summit eruption that began at 11.28 p.m. on January 24 and ended at 12.36 p.m. on January 25, have again covered nearly half the crater floor with molten rock. At 1.58 p.m., more than an hour after the sixth eruption pause, the thin crust that had formed over the lava lake cracked and cracked as the lava began to boil in an orange fury. It was a sight to behold, R.M. Burns said in a live stream chat on the afternoon of January 26. Spectacular, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said of the massive reversal of lava that erupted during the reverse flow into the north vent on the southwest side of Halamaumau, which was the focus of most of the eruption's lava flow. The surface level of the lava lake in the center of the crater floor dropped about 1.6 feet during the same time. Orange spots of light could still be seen on the morning of January 26 on the crater floor as the lava continued to cool. The intense glow from the north vent indicated that magma was still close to the surface, meaning another eruptive episode could be underway soon. That's where the chatter among citizen volcanologists picked up again on the evening of January 26th in a livestream chat. Come on Pele, show us what you got, Schneib said just before 6.30 p.m. Ricky B predicted it would be another 8 to 12 hours before inflation at the summit reaches a critical point to start another eruptive episode. I think event 7 will start in a couple of hours, Aria underscore Kinsley chatted shortly after 6 p.m. Lots of gas coming out, Schneib replied. I would agree with you. As day turned to night, a very intense glow could be seen inside the north vent just after 6.30 p.m. on the live stream, with volcanic gas emissions continuing at a steady rate. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says a new episode could likely begin sometime before the end of this week. Data through the morning of January 26 from the tilt meter at Uigauna already showed inflation of about 1.5 microradians since the end of episode 6, which began after recovering just 3 microradians lost during episode 5. If inflation continues at the same rate, another eruption could occur between January 27 and 31. In fact, the volcano could be erupting again as you read this. You can check it out for yourself via live stream or by visiting the Kilauea page on the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory website. Seismic activity at the volcano remains low, with fewer than 10 small earthquakes beneath the summit and rift zone between January 24 and 25. All eruptive activity has been confined to and within the summit caldera in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No unusual activity has been recorded along Kilauea's East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone. Current hazards include volcanic gas emissions, primarily sulfur dioxide, which reacts in the atmosphere to create smog. And windblown volcanic glass known as Pele's hair, 
both of which can affect the national park and surrounding communities. VOG, volcanic smog, can have a broader impact, as it is blown away by the wind from the volcano. Volcanic gas emissions also remain high, however, they are not as high as during periods of active eruption. The figure is estimated to be closer to 1,000 tons per day. A light breeze is blowing the gas southwest, away from the summit and communities near Hawaii Volcanoes National Park.